Right, this is a Mustard C49S curved caddis. Uh, this is an emerger I want to show you. Not really the pattern, but the technique. It's another deer hair parachute technique, which is always useful. So we we'll just put that on there and trim that off. A little bit further down. We need a rib. Just catch that in on the other side. Pull it through. And do this. Tack that down to the base of the abdomen. And we can go back up and just tie down the rest of that wire. Good. Now what we want is a little polystyrene ball and some nylon or stocking or whatever. So we place the ball in the tight netting like so and we trim off, just cut off a piece at the behind that, just enough to hold like so. Then we don't want to go right in to the hook eye, we would need to be a little ways, uh, three, four millimeter back, so back there. And we're going to need that room for the hackle. So we just put that on there, tighten that in. Tight down, go in front, just to lift it up a little. Yeah, and we can go around to tighten the netting around the polystyrene. Come down there, then we can just carefully trim off most of that. Still a bit there, it's kind of getting away from me. There we are, that'll do us. I'm go down. Don't worry too much about that now. Go down here into the base of the copper wire, the abdomen there. Then uh, I'll just do a simple black dubbed body on this just so we can get to the technique. Just catch that in there, tighten it up. So you can do this for midges, mayflies, caddis flies, this technique, a whole range of uh, different insects. A little bit more on that, just a wee bit over the end of that. Stocking. Perfect. Now we can take the rib. And make our segmented body. Tie that off. Remember to go both sides of it, and we can just so. Then what we do is a dubbing loop. Remember to close the ends of the dubbing loop there, otherwise your gear will fall out. Whatever you put in it, move the tying thread to the front. Okay. Now we can. Uh, Dubbing spinner, hang that on your loop. Bit of tacky wax, this is important, otherwise the deer hair is extremely slippery. So we need a bit of tacky wax on there, just to get a purchase on the deer hair. And what we'll have is just a wee bit more dubbing for underneath the uh, polystyrene ball and the underside of the thorax. Uh, 
and I'll just put this on there, there. A little bit around the front, don't need any more than that. To the front again, get rid of that. Excellent. Now what I've done is I've put a little bit of deer hair in a Petit Jean clip. Important that uh, this isn't too thick. Just bang that in like that. Not too dense a uh, deer hair. I'll give that a spin. Get it going into a nice brush. I reckon that will do us. There's one there that I don't like. With a bend in it. Get rid of that. Very good. Then we take this up around the polystyrene wall. And we wrap it downwards as a regular parachute tackle would you would do. Tightening as you go. Oops. Just tighten up that bobbin. Lifting that up, we can tighten the thread a little bit more, tie off the loop. One more there, then I can cut that off. Like so. Take a whip finish. Now lift all the deer hair out of the way. Get one more just for safety's sake. There we are. Tie that off. Remove that. And you can press the polystyrene ball down to give it a lower profile. But you can see there, it's a, it's a cracking way to make a deer hair hackle. And uh, that will float all day long. And it's, uh, you'll be able to see that at a good distance, no matter how small it is, uh, small the hook size is. There you go. Suspend a midge with a deer hair parachute tackle.